Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I'm gonna make over a really cool thrift store chair that I found. All right, I'm gonna remake this chair that has good bones, but just an ugly finish. I'm gonna make it a fun, cool little project with the interesting little twist to it. So check this out, it's gonna be a really cool project. All right, I wanna give you a quick uh, overview of what we're working with here before I start tearing into this project. I found this chair at Salvation Army for $10, but it was half price day, so I got it for five. And I just immediately liked the styling of it, especially how easy the seat will be to reupholster. I just knew this would be a really cool project. The main issue is that this wood back, which I like the shape, but it has some veneer missing in the corner. So I'm gonna to have to smooth that over a filler and I'm gonna repaint the back, but still keep kind of a wood look. The frame is in really nice shape, so I think I'm going to actually paint it to kind of brighten it up, modernize it a little bit, but I'm gonna do something kind of cool with the uh, legs, or I mean the uh, braces between the legs, just to jazz it up a little bit. And then of course, the ugly, ugly grandma style upholstery has major issues. Looks like grandma had a cat that either had kittens or diarrhea on this thing because it's got major, major issues. So when I looked at the chair, I was thinking a lumberjack makeover. And I was looking for something that I could upholster the seat with, and I was imagining your classic black and red style flannel when I found this shirt. Really awesome shirt. It just has a few stains and a messed up sleeve, or I'd even wear it myself. But uh, I really like the blue in this. I thought it was kind of a cool, a little more modern and clean take on the whole lumberjack thing. So I'm gonna use the back side of it to reupholster the seat. And then I'm gonna redo the back, keep it quote unquote wood, but in like a cartoon graphic way. So I think this would be a really cool project and we'll get started on it. So check this out. So first things first, I'm just flipping the chair over and unscrewing the seat bottom from the frame so I can take it apart and reupholster it. And then there we go, last one. Very simple, four screws and then the seat bottom comes off. Now I can tear out these staples and just reupholster it. Now I have a video that shows you exactly how to upholster it the way I'm gonna do it. So if you want, just go ahead and check that out. And I don't have to spend a ton of time in this video showing you how to do it. Now, once I tore off all the upholstery, the padding underneath was in pretty good shape, but I wanted to add just a little more cushioning to it. So what I decided to do, instead of going to the store and buying polyfiller, uh, I decided to reuse something that we were throwing away anyway. So my wife was getting rid of this old cardigan sweater, kind of Kurt Cobain style here, ugly kind of oatmeal color. And I thought it kind of fit in with the whole Northwest, lumberjack look anyway. So I'm just stapling, stapling it on to cover up the old stuff and then I'll trim it up and then I'll add just a little extra cushioning uh, before we put on the flannel. So I'll get to that next. All right, so I just got finished upholstering the uh, top of the seat bottom and it looks really cool now. I gotta get rid of some of the fuzzies, but it turned out really nice. I made sure to keep the pattern nice and straight with the chair so it looked really legit. And uh, again, if you wanna see how to upholster a chair like this, it's really simple and I made a whole video about it. I'll link to it at the end of this video and um, in the description if you can go check it out. But it looks really cool and it even looks good with the wood chair as is right now if I wanted to keep it that way. But I'm gonna go beyond and go ahead and fix the little broken part of the chair and sand it down and get it ready for painting. So that's what we'll do next. All right, so now I wanna mess with the uh, framework of the chair. So I'm gonna take this back off and it had these little plugs Kind of a bear to get out, but I eventually wiggle them free so they come out. And then there's just a couple of screws in there. So I'm loosening them up and the back should pop right off. And then we can deal with it separately from the framework. There we go. So now we can sand everything really thoroughly and then get this one prepped for a little bit of Bondo work up here in the top corner and uh, get it ready for paint. And then this chair will just lightly sand and get it ready for paint. Right, now I got everything sanded down smooth enough that it can now be painted. The uh, chair frame, I'm gonna paint white, except for these three bars right there. I made sure to sand them good enough that I can keep a couple of them uh, uh, just plain wood and I might paint one blue just for a nice little cool detail. And then the rest of the chair will be painted white. The back here, I still gotta do some bondo work on it, but I got it nice and smooth. So that way I can start to paint it here in a little bit. But first, let me finish up the bondo. Then I'll start painting.
All right, so check it out. Really simple Bondo repair there, and this is plenty good enough, smooth enough for a paint job. So now we can start painting everything. All right, now before I start painting everything, I actually needed to tape it off. So the back is actually just gonna get painted as is. I don't need to tape anything off. But on the chair itself, I needed to block off a few things. So as you can see, the little braces under there, I wrapped in tape with some paper so that I don't get any paint on them. And then the bottoms of the legs are wrapped in tape because I'm gonna keep them wood just for a nice little detail. So now I can take it out, get everything painted. The chair is gonna be painted white and then it'll be done. And then uh, this back is gonna get painted like a light tan. And then we're gonna do a cool little graphic detail to it. All right, now I brought the chair frame back in and uh, letting the paint dry and it looks awesome. I peeled all the tape off and check out how the paint did not quite get into all the grain. So it really pops through just a really cool effect. The feet, I peeled the tape off, and I'm just gonna keep them wood to blend in with the uh, cartoony backrest. And then these three support braces here, I was going to leave wood, but I think what I'm gonna do is color wash them in a couple different shades of blue to kind of blend in with the seat. So I'll deal with that in a little bit, but first, I wanna show you the backrest. It turned out really cool, smooth out, and uh, now what I gotta do is tape it off and then design kind of a cartoony wood grain graphic to paint on there. So I'll do that next. Right, I finally have everything taped off and I had my design figured out. I just now cut it out so I can start spraying it. Should be kind of an interesting kind of cartoony wood grain. So let's see how this turns out. All right, there's a little sneak peek of how the uh, back of the seat turned out, kind of cartoony looking. Got the light brown and the dark brown, pretty fun looking. And uh, what I decided to do, since I have the dark brown on the tan, is to go ahead and blend in and tie it in here. So where the white meets the raw wood of the legs, I'm gonna paint a little brown stripe there. And then uh, for the um, little support bars here, I'm gonna put a color wash on my color stain. And I actually made a video that shows you how easy it is to make and how to apply it. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it at the end of the video and also in the description. So let me do this, and then I will screw everything back together and show you how it all turned out. All right, and check it out. It turned out really awesome. Exactly like I was imagining in my head. Maybe even a little bit better. I'll show you a couple details real quick. See the brown bands down there? I painted them where the white meets the uh, raw wood to kind of help tie in with the look up here. And then the uh, blue color washed uh, little support boards down there uh, turned out really cool too and I went extra heavy on it so that you could just barely see wood grain through it and then on the raw wood part down at the very bottom and on the blue I added some furniture paste wax just to uh, help protect them a little better then of course we got the really awesome flannel and uh, I really like the colors in there and then again the fake wood grain kind of cartoony looking paint job up here and that one really kind of tested my patience I had to tape it all off and then draw it out and cut it out. And drawing's not exactly my strong point, but I think it turned out pretty cool. And uh, definitely has that, you know, old school cartoon look to it. So anyway, check that out. This thing used to be ugly grandma looking chair and now it's went through a total transformation, has that modern lumberjack style look to it. So pretty cool little uh, makeover right here.